On July 3, China's three largest airlines jointly took action and contributed a super order of 292 A320 Neo series aircraft to Airbus. The heated discussion caused by this is still shaking. Although 240 billion yuan is the list price, and the discount will be considerable, 292 aircraft is not a small number, especially in the current situation that airlines are generally losing money. Why was the largest order in history given to Airbus instead of the C919, a domestically produced large aircraft that was about to be delivered? At present, China's domestic large aircraft C919 is already in the airworthiness certification stage, and the first aircraft will be delivered to customers as soon as the end of this year. However, the three major airlines have handed over the share of aircraft iterations focusing on the next few years to Airbus. Why did they choose Airbus? Moreover, not long ago, German Chancellor Scholz made an official visit to China. On the first day of his visit to China, China gave him a big gift. China and Germany signed a framework agreement on the purchase of 140 large Airbus aircraft, including 132 A320 series aircraft and 8 A350 aircraft, with a total value of about 17 billion US dollars. All signs seem to indicate that the C919 has been forgotten, so why does China give so much market share to Airbus instead of its own domestic aircraft C919? Okay, in today's video, let's dive deep into this issue. In my opinion, there are several possibilities for the domestic large aircraft C919 that cannot be selected at present, 1. Maintaining the relationship with Europe, 2. Warning the United States, 3. Airworthiness negotiations, 4. C919 production capacity is insufficient, 5. The technology needs to be verified, 6. Reduce dollar assets in exchange for physical assets. I'll be specific about why, so keep watching. Some people think that the signing of this superorder may also mean that the domestic large aircraft C919 is ill-fated. In the context of China's ability to manufacture large aircraft, it is necessary to purchase from Airbus, which at least shows that the issue of the C919's airworthiness certificate will be difficult to solve for a while. In addition, the earliest delivery cycle starts in 2024 and ends in 2027. This move also indicates that the three major airlines are focusing on the recovery prospects of the aviation industry in the post-epidemic era and can save a lot of money if the price is reasonable. In fact, this also indicates that at least in the period of 2027, the production capacity of the domestic C919 is a defect even if it obtains the airworthiness certificate. In the early stage, it may not be able to digest these domestic orders at all, it is only a third choice after Airbus and Boeing. I have to say that it may not be easy for the C919 to obtain the airworthiness certificates issued by Europe and the United States. Large planes carry as many as 190 passengers, and safety and reliability are the prerequisites for obtaining an airworthiness certificate. Unlike Boeing and Airbus, which have undergone the test of time, the C919 lacks the most time accumulation, which makes people unable to be completely assured. In fact, the C919 has received more than 800 orders of various types, although the Chinese people really hope that this domestic passenger aircraft can quickly become bigger and stronger. However, on the one hand, it will take a certain amount of time for the C919 to obtain the airworthiness certificate in the European and American markets. On the other hand, the current C919 production capacity is limited. Regarding the C929, on June 7, Russian Minister of Trade and Industry Mancharov just stated that the CR929 jointly developed by China and Russia is being redesigned to no longer rely on Western components. In less than a month, the wide-body aircraft project has changed again. Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov said recently that the joint development project with China is not developing in the direction suitable for us. Some media said that perhaps Russia is considering abandoning the project of cooperating with China to develop the CR-929 wide-body airliner. This is enough to see that the development of everything is not smooth sailing. The choice of China's three major airlines at this moment is also reasonable. Although the C919, which has been developed in China for more than 10 years, bears the expectations of many people, 
a reality that must be faced is that the airworthiness certificate is indeed a challenge that cannot be overcome in a short period of time. Therefore, even if it is its own aircraft, it is impossible for the three major airlines to pursue efficiency to purchase a large number of models that can only be flown in China. In addition, behind this largest order in history, it is not the domestic large aircraft C919 that is injured, but Boeing. Why did China choose Airbus over Boeing? Please keep watching. Well, I think there are three main reasons for it. First, European planes are cost effective, fuel efficient, and perform well. To be honest, in the manufacture of high end passenger aircraft, China still has no way to compete with Boeing, Airbus, and other companies. Therefore, in the past, Chinese aircraft were purchased from the United States. Now that the aviation industry has just recovered, it is more cost effective to buy aircraft at this time, and the price is relatively low. Second, the United States continues to impose sanctions on China, but there is no strategic conflict between China and the EU. The current international situation is mainly divided into four sides. Among them, Europe, the United States, and Russia are adversaries. So the two join forces to keep putting pressure on Putin and Russia. For China, China and Russia are allies, and China has an economic and trade cooperation relationship with Europe and a cooperation plus confrontation relationship with the United States. Therefore, it is clear that the relationship between China and the United States has a tendency to deteriorate because the United States is unilaterally sanctioning China and even instigating its European allies to impose sanctions on China such as the previous Huawei 5G incident. In fact, European countries actually accepted Huawei's 5G technology from the beginning, and the reason for sanctions against Huawei was also due to political pressure from the United States. Even so, Huawei still has a lot of 5G orders in Europe. Therefore, one is China's rival Boeing of the United States, and the other is China's economic and trade partner without strategic contradictions. China naturally chooses European Airbus. The third reason for choosing Airbus is to woo Europe, warn the US. There are many countries in Europe, some of which are pro-China and believe that they should cooperate with China for a win-win situation, while some are more pro-US. However, under the coercion and inducement of the United States, Europe, that is, NATO countries indeed passed the so-called declaration, positioning China as a systemic challenge relationship. So China throws out a big order at this time, which woos Europe. As we all know, China-US relations are now at their lowest point in more than 40 years, with a host of issues ranging from trade battles to tensions in the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea that have sparked fierce competition between China and the US. China bought European planes, and Boeing of the United States is expected to start lobbying the US government to reconsider easing relations with China and Europe, which has taken advantage will naturally be more friendly to China because of its economic interests. Do you think so? Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news. See you next time.